Hi everyone, it is February 26, 2018. I'm going to share with you just a few statistics of what these uh, storms have brought to our fellow Americans and Canadians. This, oh, it's a massive, massive storm stretching from Texas to Canada and it is continuing. It's going on. So, more flooding, more turn tornadoes, more landslides coming. You know, I get very frustrated when I listen to people talk about the shit hits the fan, it's coming, it's coming. No, it is, it's here, it's been here for a really long time, and it is those who have not suffered the consequences of S H T F they somehow believing that the millions of Americans and many more millions all over the world they have already experienced S H T F but somehow because they haven't in their experience it hasn't come well it's coming and it's rapidly accelerating and it's taking out so many and it is heartbreaking to see that more and more of my subscribers are getting affected so if you're sitting listening to this believing that you are invincible that it's not going to happen to you those of you who leave comments like well they deserve what they get they live in a floodplain. It's been flooded there over and over. First of all, they're not understanding that so many people do not have the resources to move. But what they really don't get is that when man has the technology to create, to create massive flooding anywhere, whether you live in a floodplain or not, and somehow you're still thinking you even know that man is creating these events, and somehow you still think because you don't live in a floodplain, it's not going to happen to you. Well, it has happened to an awful lot of people who don't live in floodplains. It's happened to people who have moved out of floodplains because they got flooded. And then they get flooded again in their non-floodplain. They took the action and moved and then got flooded again? Well, when man can use weather as a weapon, this can be brought to anyone. Violent storm systems, relentless rains, fierce winds, pounded the southern and central U.S. over the weekend. And because the rains have saturated the soil, and it continues to rain, yes, more and more will be flooded out. You know, these are the events that mainstream media would have 24-7 coverage of. They don't anymore. Now, it is the new normal. You'd see this headline on drugs. You don't anymore. And what has happened over the weekend? Homes leveled, trees uprooted, cars demolished, five, well, six people killed, two killed in a suspected tornado. Right. They don't even, they can't even say if they were hit by tornadoes or if they were just unusual high winds, emergency crews struggled to keep up with calls from drivers stranded by rising floodwaters. In many locations, more than 200 rivers reported at record levels above flood stage from the Great Lakes to eastern Texas. Massive flooding. Pictures remind you of Houston, but it doesn't get the coverage of Houston.
southwestern Michigan, the body of a man found floating in floodwaters in Kalamazoo, northeast Arkansas, an 83-year-old man killed when his trailer home toppled under high winds in Clay County, a 15-year-old girl hit by falling debris, taken to the hospital. Kim Nicholson was watching television with her husband when a quick but violent storm slammed into her Farmington home, shaking it off its foundation, ultimately leaving it in a heap of rubble. She looked outside. Things didn't seem right. A weird green color. Huh. Well, no. You know, when you... When you know what natural weather looks like, feels like, and then when you read these quotes, so many saying, have never seen anything like it. Unusual. Weird green color. And then you have to face so many Americans who still choosing their right to be willfully ignorant. Yes, it is my right. It is my right to be willfully ignorant about the war that is taking place. It's my right to not look at the evidence and facts. It's my right to be complicit with those who are evil, those who are destroying so many people's lives, killing them, Kentucky abandoned vehicles, 20 people needed to be rescued from cars and buildings because of rising floodwaters, Cincinnati, numerous water rescues, road closings, seemed to multiply by the hour. Many residents had to evacuate. Two post office offices were relocated. This page I come across rabbit hash. A really incredibly cute kind of historic town in Kentucky that I walked around with Marlene's sister, my subscribers of years ago may remember I was living in Kentucky. Rabbit hash flooded out. I sat right here. I walked around. You see these people in these videos, and then you think to them yourself, they have no clue. They have no clue what brought this about. They think it's Mother Nature or climate change. And they love living the lie. I guess they feel that living the lie is easier because they don't have to do anything. They don't have to ever, ever change if they stay the same. But then they're brought to this. They then, what? Suffering the consequences is easier? Look at this massive flooding. The city of Aurora, obviously underwater as the Ohio River overflows its banks, cresting at more than 60 feet. The red bridge, known as the George Street Bridge, that connects the city over the Hudson Street, obviously underwater. It was not like this just 24 hours ago when our crews were out there in Aurora. You were still able to drive over the bridge. This white building right here in the corner, that's the uh, tire shop there, Aurora. Don Andrews owns that, and he says... Back in 97, they uh, flooded five feet, three inches inside there. That was taller than me. He said, you know, they were preparing for the worst. They were picking stuff up, up off the floor, putting it on the hoist, doing what they could, but they can't stop that water from coming in. And uh, he was expecting about a foot of water inside. 
by today, and it certainly happened at the very least. Route 56 completely shut down. Just looks dramatically different from what it did yesterday. The park along the river also, of course, uh, invisible right now. You wouldn't even know it was there if you're not familiar with the area. They did have a shelter open. <clears throat> I don't know why my email keeps showing every time I flip a page or what's going on, but so, yeah, um, stop thinking that you're invincible. <laughs> stop thinking that the shit that hits the fan, it's, it's going to be coming. It sneaks up on you and takes many, many people out. So, tornadoes, well, I listened to one reporter this news clip this reporter saying well they don't know if it was a tornado it could have just been high winds well they can produce high winds i posted a video last night at the tail end of the video satellite images of ultra low frequencies in use, right smack in this storm. You know, disaster doesn't stop. <laughs> it just doesn't stop. So here's Deborah Tavares at a meeting for the California victim uh, victims of, of these fires. Rebuilding of their homes it's not going to happen for years. Deborah Tavares knows this, but the California victims are being lied to. We need more Deborah Tavareses in every county. Spoke to my friend in Houston a couple of days ago who told me that her home has been depreciated $30,000. Her home flooded out, not because of Harvey. It was the deliberate flooding coming from our fabulous Army Corps of Engineers. The re releasing of the reservoirs. So, when you have your home as your one asset, you're counting on that asset to carry you through retirement. You can't count on anything anymore. There are so many methods that they use to destroy people. And I'm telling you, those of you who are listening right now who have not suffered the consequences, it is coming to some of you. I've had so many subscribers who have believed that it wouldn't come to them, and it came to them. So nobody is invincible. And yes, I guess we can blame ourselves, and I do, for all of the years that I was trapped in the lie. When I saw what was happening, I have been nonstop doing everything that I could. But what I see happening in the awake crowd, so many not doing a thing, waiting for somebody else to fix it, still stuck in that belief that the president who has been quote unquote elected is going to bring this to an end they not understanding. 
that they themselves have to get active in their own communities well work has to be done work has to be done by all of us and unfortunately there are a lot of people who are sitting back doing nothing so that doesn't give me much hope of ever getting anywhere and it's really sad to see so many people and you see it over and over and over again being brought down and we can also thank our so-called friends our family members who have absolutely chosen to be on the side of the enemy they choosing willful ignorance and and absolutely with great anger and hostility they fight all of you they will not will not look at the facts and evidence that this is war they using weather as a weapon they choosing instead to remain children rolling their eyes at you thinking you're crazy they are 100 percent our greatest enemy in this fight and we have the numbers we have the numbers to take out these few evil bastards but when we have in those numbers a majority who are children irresponsible children who simply will never ever grow up choosing to remain the same that to me says you all who still have not suffered the consequences do everything you can to protect yourself and prepare for the worst protect yourself financially do everything that you can to protect your property because it's going to be taken away destroyed whether it's a weather event whether it's financial hardship your home suddenly foreclosed upon whether it's the loss of a job that takes you out your health suddenly declining and takes you out now is the time to every single day if you are unwilling to engage in your own community to try to fight the climate change agenda 2030 that's taking place in your counties then do everything that you can to protect yourself and your own family because this is coming to an awful lot when I was walking around rabbit hash did I think that this would happen here no it's happened all links are below